Hey, what's up, musers? John here. I'll continue with the Adobe Muse to Webflow uh, series, and I'll continue building the Euphoria gym template uh, today. Uh, so I'm going to make these videos just uh, 10 minute increments or 10 minute videos uh, so that they're not too long and you can follow along in uh, 10 minute spurts. Um, so I have a timer here that I'll start and I'll start building and make sure I stay under 10 minutes. Uh, so yesterday we built out the uh, the nav section with the brand and the um, the navigation items and today we'll add this uh, section here and we'll see if we animate the template with with these images here as well um, let me just grab the images real quick okay i have the images ready in case we're we uh we create this animation here um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get started. I'll hit the play button and we have an extra five seconds and I'll keep this video under 10 minutes. So let's start building this part here. And for that, I'll go ahead and add a div and we'll call this hero, or this will be container. And yeah, we'll set it to 1170 pixels max width um, and a spacing of auto so it's in the center. And then in here, we'll add another div and we'll call this uh, hero wrapper. And so for, for this, I'm gonna do this in a specific way where I'm gonna add a div and I'm gonna add three div blocks in here and then I'm gonna add a border to the other divs. So let's go ahead and try that and see how that goes. Um, so let's go ahead and so we have the container, we have the hero wrapper and then in here, I'm going to say um, content wrapper. And we're going to make this maybe, let's try 60% in width. And for the hero wrapper, let's set it to flex center center. So it goes in the center. And then in here, I'm going to add a div block. And I'm going to say, um, yeah, I think this is how I want to do it. So content wrapper and, or let's do a content. No, this one's going to be content background wrapper. Okay. So we have the content wrapper, content background wrapper. And in here, I'm going to add a div and I'm going to say content left div content middle and I'll add another div and I'll say content right and maybe we should say border left that might make a little more sense uh, border middle and border right and then for the content background we'll set it to flex uh, yeah horizontal align stretch and justify left and then for the border left, let's give it a width of, so we'll do 40%. For the middle, we'll do 40, uh, we'll do 20%. And for the right, we'll do uh, 40%. Okay. And then for the content wrapper, um, yeah, let's, and also let's set this content background to a position of absolute. And the content wrapper, let's see. So I'm just gonna add some content for now. So let me add a div or a heading. So that'll be the heading. Then we have the paragraph. And then we have a light box. And that should be light box. Okay, cool. So this is just some placeholder content. And yeah, for the hero or the content wrapper, we're gonna add some padding. This will all make sense in a sec. I'm just doing it now, so but I'll explain it a bit in a bit more detail in a sec. So let's go to the content background and let's go to the border left. Or yeah, the content background wrapper should be position absolute and full. And the content wrapper should be a position of relative. So the content background fills the entire content wrapper. 
Okay, so let's go into the content background and go to the border left and we'll add a border to the top left or the top solid and we'll grab this color. Let me inspect it so we can get the color which is right here and we'll give it this color here. The border I think is like three pixels, maybe five. Yeah, five or maybe six. Six. We'll add a left border, paste that in there for the color, make it six. And we have a bottom border, six, and we'll make it this color here. And then we'll go to border right, set a top border there, and all right, cool. So let's just go in here and we can add more padding, maybe 40. I'm holding down shift to add padding to all of it. And it's actually a little bit thicker. So let's do 10. Is that too thick? Mm, yeah, 10 is too thick, maybe eight. Cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And that's basically it. All right, so we've added that piece and let's just go ahead and style the text inside of it. So nothing takes as nothing tasks as good as being fit feels. All right, so let's go ahead and add that text for the heading and Let's go to the heading. Let's go to all each one headings and we'll just style it. So it's going to be poppins. It's going to be white. Or no, we'll leave it black. And yeah, that should be fine. And then we'll go to heading and we'll say hero heading and we'll set it to position relative so it comes to the front and we'll say nothing. And let's change the color here to white. Nothing tasks as good as being fit feels. Nothing tasks as as good as being fit feels. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Well, let's see, nothing task is good. So let's change the font size. I think this might be uh, semi bold and maybe 54. And we'll do one dash for the line height. Actually, I can inspect it. 60 and 72. Okay, and for the content wrapper, let's make the width, uh, let's try 80%. Okay, we'll come back to that. And let's go to the paragraph. We'll say all paragraphs. This is also Poppins. And cool. And we'll say hero paragraph and we'll change the color to white. All right. And great. So I feel like I'm going to have to add two headings here. Hmm. Nothing tasks. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right. And I'm going to have to work on that. I feel like the text.
Okay, so running a little bit out of time here. But let's go to the content wrapper. Let's set it to flex vertical. And then for the paragraph, let's set the position to relative. Let's set the max width to maybe 30 CH, 30 characters. I'm going to copy this uh, lorem ipsum text. And here we'll set the alignment to the right. And then we'll place the alignment to the right here. And I'll set it to 50 CH. Yeah, there we go. And we'll add some margin to the bottom here, maybe 30. And for the hero section, we remove the height and we'll just add some padding to the bottom. Maybe 100 pixels. All right. And yeah, so tomorrow we'll add, looks like that's in the center. So the hero wrapper, content wrapper, let's say center. Yeah, perfect. And it's coming along. So cool. Let me just, um, for the hero, add some margin to the top, maybe like 60. Cool. So I'll add the light box uh, tomorrow. So here when we click to watch the video, it plays a video. Um, we'll add that tomorrow. And this box feels a little bit too wide, so I want to work on that. It feels like this text could be smaller. Um, but yeah, so far it's looking good. Uh, did go over slightly 10 minutes. I think I just got into the building. Um, let me put it on the left. And content wrapper, I feel like it should be maybe, yeah, maybe like that, 72%. Yeah, that's a little better. Yep. I like that. And cool. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll add the light box, this watch video button, and this uh, element here. All right, so that's it for today's build. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next uh, video tutorial. Thank you.